Welcome to how to create interest in you and your services. If you are a speaker, consultant, coach, entrepreneur, or any person who goes out in public and uses the spoken word to promote interest in themselves, you are in the right place at the right time. You are smart enough to know that how you clearly communicate the benefits of your services, the more business you are going to get. In fact, good communication skills equal good business equals increased revenue. In case we haven't had the pleasure of meeting, I'm Patricia Fripp, executive speech coach, sales presentation skills trainer, and online learning expert. And we help individuals like you increase their competitive edge by improving their conversations and presentations. This is part of the Patricia Fripp 20 minute webinar series. In other words, it might be less than 20 minutes, but it certainly isn't longer. Any questions that you have, you can email me and we will make this action packed. So let's bring up the PowerPoint and roll up our sleeves and get to work. There is nothing more exciting than living on the knife edge of now, which means you are responsible for your own future. In case you're thinking, oh, all right, I am good speaking to people one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not a public speaker like you. Outside the privacy of your own home, all speaking is public speaking. And whether the, your audience might be one, five, or 50, many of the techniques are exactly the same. However, selling your services and interest in you, we are going to go out in the community and meet people in our industries, our communities, at various social events, charity events, chambers of commerce. And my basic networking philosophy is there is no point going anywhere that people don't remember you were there. We want them to remember not only meeting you, but what is of interest about you to them. One of the most frequently asked questions in business communication is what do you do? And we can very answer, oh, I consult with leaders, I'm an executive speech coach, or a three minute elevator speech. My recommendation is that you take a simple approach that makes it more conversational. So imagine that you were asking me, what do you do? I will have, and I recommend you have, different answers depending on the circumstance we find ourselves in. For example, if I was at the Convention and Business Bureau, I know at one of their mixers, you are going to have people in the meetings industry. Now, you might have car rental and hotels, but you also have meeting planners. Even the people who will not actually hire me, it's very good that they could articulate what I do to people in our industry. So the approach I use with that is, Patricia, what do you do? You know how. Companies have meetings that are supposed to be exciting, and sometimes they're dull and boring. Well, I have some practical ideas I present in an entertaining way. The result is people stay awake, get the company's message. I'm a professional speaker. My name is Patricia Frank to which people usually say, oh, what do you talk about? A lot of people do that. Or oh, we have really great meetings or we've hired great speakers. We have a conversation. You have to get people's attention. Now, if I were in Silicon Valley talking with a lot of engineers at a networking event, if people said, Patricia, what do you do? I would say, and look at the magic phrase that you see on the screen. I help 
brilliant engineers just like you become corporate rock stars. Now you notice in both of those examples, I do not exactly tell you what I do up front. If someone in Silicon Valley hears that answer, they are most likely to say, how do you do that? I say, well, that depends. Do you deliver any presentations? Because you want to engage interest. However, you want the other person to speak to ask you more information, which means they have then given us permission to have a longer conversation. So my to do for you is make a list of the different circumstances where you do have the opportunity to answer the question, what do you do? And come up with interesting, creative answers that will start a conversation. The next and one of the most effective tools in communications when you are getting interest in yourself and your business and services is to travel with your own PR agent. In other words, go out to events with a friend, a colleague, a customer, someone in your industry, or just what I would call a civilian friend. A civilian friend is somebody who's not in your industry, but a big fan of yours. My friend Susan Rowan is the best-selling author of six or seven different books, including How to Work a Room. We frequently go to events together. And like you, we walk in, we separate, we come together, we separate. Now, Susan has a great personality, and I'll often walk up to her. And you know if people are making really tight eye connection that perhaps you're not you, you shouldn't walk up. If they are open with their body language, you know how you can get in the conversation. And then Susan will introduce me. She would say, John, may I introduce you to my friend Patricia Frey? She truly is one of the best executive speech coaches and sales presentation skills trainer in the country. In fact, Kiplinger Personal Finance Magazine said that the sixth best way to invest in your career is to learn presentation skills from Patricia Frey. So you see what Susan is doing is giving my credentials in a way that I would not if I was the one answering the questions initially. Then it's your turn. I would say, John, Susan is far too modest to tell you she's the best-selling author of seven books, including the longtime bestseller, How to Work a Room. She's been on the front cover of USA Today, the Wall Street Journal. She's even been in Playboy. And Susan says, yes, but not as a centerfold. See, what we are doing, we are using each other's credibility conversationally this is something we do naturally, but both of us realize that most of our audiences don't do this. Some people do it naturally, very few. My recommendation is that you practice what you're going to say before you go out if this is not natural for you. And then, of course, you have to find out what the other person is doing. With friendly and humorous repartee, as with Susan's case, is natural, you become an object of interest. And when the people you talk to go back to work the next day, oh, what did you do? I went to the Chamber of Commerce mixer. Was it good? Yes. Great venue, good food, good speaker. And I met some interesting people. Oh, who did you meet? You know, I met one of the best speech coaches in the country and a best-selling author. She's been on the front cover of USA Today, the Wall Street Journal. She's even been in Playboy, but not as a center. You see, you become an object of interest, repeating what you heard the night before. Now, this is the key principle. Like any other public speech, be prepared 
know what you're going to say make sure it becomes second nature that's why you practice before you go out if you have a partner a travel with your own PR buddy then rehearse with them the key to connection is conversation and yes we want to go out to network because it's good for us however remember if you want to be considered interesting you need to be interested in the people you're talking to the key to connection is conversation <coughs> the secret of conversation is to ask questions the quality of information you receive depends on the quality of your questions make sure that you spend more time asking about the other person than for yourself all learning requires repetition and reinforcement and I could tease you with these techniques and certainly if you take this advice it will be to your advantage when you're selling yourself and your services and you want to create interest in them remember to be interesting be interested now naturally we have an easy convenient and cost-effective way that you can learn to be a better communicator and speaker whether your audience is one five fifty or five hundred that is frip virtual training frip bt and i challenge you and encourage you to take a trial so you learn how to better start conversations or presentations and how you can be more persuasive and how people remember you is to tell stories about how you serve people in these conversations we give you a trial where you can learn all of this so go take a trial at fripvt.com and if this is a, an advantage to your career to be a great communicator and it doesn't matter what industry you're in it is to your advantage just for attending our webinar and being part of our community use frit as the coupon code and sign up for a savings if you have a question about anything you've heard if you want to send your uh, line about how do you answer what do you do if you would like a personal demo of the frit vt just email me at pfrip at frip.com and remember there's no point going anywhere that people don't remember you with it look forward to seeing you at our next webinar